everyone. So uh, I'm putting a video together today to discuss um, skin issues. As you know, I'm going through radiation treatment right now. I just completed uh, 22 rounds of radiation and my skin is a mess. So I kind of wanted to um, bring that to you, show you what was going on. Um, please forgive me, I am having a <laughs> crazy hair day. Um, ever since it's been short, I've been wearing it curly, but today I decided to blow dry it out just to kind of see um, how it would look. And this is kind of the end result. Um, also, I'm in a newly remodeled uh, room in my house, returning it into maybe an office. I just had these uh, French doors added a couple days ago. And I live in a very, very old house. It's over 100 years old. And this room is going to become... I don't know, an office or a bedroom eventually. So ignore the mess behind me. Um, and lastly, uh, I am recording on a totally different device. I'm actually using a Droid device. Normally I record my videos on uh, iPhone, but I decided to do something better and I kind of actually like it. Anyway, if I don't appear to uh, be looking directly into the camera, Although I'm trying, it's because this is new and I'm still trying to figure it all out. So anyway, in a previous video, I was wearing this lovely hat and I said I would uh, talk more about that and have a video on skin. So that is this video. Um, again, if you watch my previous uh, videos, and I do encourage you to do that, um, you will know that this is my second uh, go at it with breast cancer. I was diagnosed last year in 2014 and re-diagnosed in 2015. So this time, this time around, I'm going through radiation. Last year, I did not. And I actually, after chemo, had radiation. I'm sorry. After chemo, I had exchange surgery, meaning I had these temporary expanders removed from my breast and breast implants put in. That... Um, is an unfortunate thing because now that I have to do radiation, um, there's this really high probability that I will lose these implants, uh, about a 40% chance, um, and my skin is just a mess. However, with that being said, it has held up. I mean, I don't have blisters, I don't have open scabs or wounds. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with. So as you can see, I hope you can see, I'm radiating here on the left side, so it's very, very red compared to my right side. It is very red. That's not, you know, some bad coloring or anything. I hope you can see that. And it goes all the way down. Let me see if I get a little bit closer. And I am completely um, discolored and, and bruised all the way down. That is bruising and discoloration there. Um, that discoloration goes underneath the left breast see if I can show that. See that discoloration? See that? All the way under, very red. Let's take it to the side. Let me see if I can show you the side here. I don't know. I'm trying my best. Can you see that? It's red. It's discolored. It's really bad on my incision lines. It's made them very dark. Um, usually after surgery, as time goes on, incision lines become very light or even white. My own. My incision lines where I had the implants put in were actually turning white and now they're very dark because of the radiation, which is in essence is burning the skin. Um, one good thing about this is because um, I had a double mastectomy and then I had implants put in, I don't really feel anything. So my skin could be burning, but I'm so numb, I don't feel it. Um, but I do put organic aloe vera, which has no alcohol in it on the skin to soothe it. Even though I don't feel the burn, I do that anyway. And then I, um, all day I put on different lotions uh, to keep the skin from drying out. Because if your skin is dry, you're more susceptible to cracks, chafing, blistering, and things like that, which are not good. Um, I wear the hat when I go outdoors. If I don't, if I'm not completely covered up, because I do, I do not want this part of the body or my chest exposed to any sun, because literally my skin will peel off. If I have too much sun exposure and it really burns, your skin can literally peel off. We don't want that, because that can lead to infections and other issues. 
So I wear the brim hat to cover me from the sun. If I'm not wearing a jacket or sweater that completely covers the area, and yes, I do um, either have a cover up on or the hat on. And so unfortunately, um, I'm not really enjoying the sun, which I love. I love summer and fall is my two favorite months. And I'm not really enjoying the summer because I can't really go out into the sun. Could you imagine it's 80 to 90 degrees and you're covered up? No bueno. But anyway, unfortunately, that's how it has to be temporarily. And I'm willing to uh, deal with it and accept it. And um, because I'm looking to survive, so we don't worry about temporary things. Because um, we got to look at the bigger picture, folks. Always look at the bigger picture in life. Temporary discomforts. Um are okay if in the long run we're looking at um, a major advantage. So anyhow, um, I, I don't have any pain, again, because I, I don't really feel anything. Um, I do itch a little bit, and that tells me that i got to get those lotions and things on, which I do. Definitely don't want to itch because that also breaks the skin down. So basically what I'm hoping is that my skin can hold up to where... Um, you know, there's not a lot of damage to the skin. There's not capsular contraction and a hardening of the breast or the implant so that a year from now, I don't have to have my implants removed and go a different procedure in order just to have breasts. So, so far so good. I have really good skin and I'm really happy about that. So it's really held up. So I just kind of want to bring this video to you keep you in the know and in the loop as always because that was my agreement to you so um if you want to see my other videos please um hit the subscribe button or uh, type in housewife snob and check me out i'm positive i'm inspiring and i'm trying to share it all i know uh for you so uh, thank you for praying for me and praying with me and uh, just being so positive Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend until I see you again.